back to another episode of City Skyline. So I did want to do something today. I had a note, but I don't know where it was, but I do remember what I wanted to do. So basically, there's this whole elevated part right up to this point, and I was thinking what we could end up doing is we could just elevate that entire highway strip and basically elevate it through um, over this particular thing this highway system and I think that might work for the roundabout so we can basically run the metro line directly under not sure if that will work but we'll need to take a look at how it's basically designed and stuff like that and see if we can't do that because there is that little stretch right there that we'll have to kind of figure out what we're going to be doing with but um, I think if we were to design it in such a way that we were able to get over there I think we might be able to get something set up a little bit easier uh, we could also do it a little bit sideways but that might mess up the intersection thing so we'll have to figure out something that we can end up doing for that without needing the pull there so hopefully we can do something like that today um, outside of that we could have um, the yeah I actually don't know because the highway needs to go through that can work fine but if this was on ground level then hmm yeah I'm just trying to think how we can do this because if this is on ground level and then we have the highway system above you would still need to have that underneath now I'm not sure if these can go I don't think these can go underground uh, we can test that out right now. Uh, I'm pretty sure they can't, though. Yeah, they can't go underground, but they can go um, beneath or above ground. So, if we wanted to go up, then we could go up and over. Uh, that would be an option as well. Uh, we would have to design it a little bit differently that would allow us to not need to worry about elevating the highway in this part so let's see here what do I have along this this line we have <coughs> oh excuse me uh, dust from the kitty pot room um, so basically we have just the, the metro line so we can basically just set that up I think uh, we'll probably go with trees, but I want to redesign this whole area just a little bit to kind of make it a little bit easier to get there. We have a really windy road over here.
basically what I did was I adjusted the um, bridges a little bit so boats can have some extra clearance underneath these particular ones. So if we go over here we can take a look how much clearance this boat will have. Uh, these are the ferries. There's 14 people on this one. So this goes along here and as you can kind of see it just goes straight through which is perfect. So that was kind of one of the important things. We might try to adjust this a little bit more. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot of clearance. Oh, there's actually quite a bit of clearance over here. Actually, never mind. We should be fine with that. It could be tidied up a little bit more just so there isn't so many lines going through, but I think that would be... I think it's good for the most part. And what else did I work on? I worked on the... Um, bridges I still need to get the connections up to the highway here so we can do that right now I think I was like I can't remember what angle I came at let's see if we can actually make these a little bit better we'll see if we can't go down like 45 degrees or something like that 90 I'm not sure if there's a 90 degree one we'll see if we can't get a 90 degree yeah, that's right. I went with a uh, 90 degree. Okay, so we'll have to go with a 90 degree on that side. Not entirely sure how many I need. Uh, let's see here. One, two, three, four, four. Four. We'll probably go down like that. And one, two, three, four. Oh, I meant to go down. One, two, three, four. This should make it a little bit easier to get on and off of the highway, I think. Well, for the most part, I guess. Uh, because they'll still have to do a really sharp turn that way, but... Um, then we can do a direct line like that, I guess. Or we'll see what we can do for the, the way, the path a little bit. Make it a little bit easier to get on. Okay, that's going to be too straight. Okay, that's going to be a really tight turn, actually.
Alright, so... I think what we're going to end up going to do now is... Now that we got this part sorted out, I think what we need to do is build that airport. Or at least get it started. And that way we can get some planning and stuff done. Uh, probably set up a road system. I'm, I'm thinking about having the runway along here. I think that would be the, probably the best option. That will also give us a dividing part over on this side as well. So we can always expand that way if we need another runway or whatever as well. Um, our international airport part will probably be along this part right here, I think. Or depending on how we set it up, if we have... I don't know if there's cargo um, terminals and stuff, but if there is, then we can keep that available over here and then have our actual passenger area over on this side, I think. Uh, that would allow at least one runway to be put in. And we'll see if we can't get that sorted out right now. We're going to need a few things to get that all running. So we're going to need this. I'm going to need to enable that. I'm going to bring it up to about here, I think. Maybe a little bit further. And we're going to need to choose a airport thingy. Now, this is where it gets a little bit interesting because I need to make sure that it's inside this area. We can go a little bit over that area just a little bit. Uh, let's go to here. I think we need zones. And if we go to the airport one, we can expand it just a little bit. We'll have to smooth it out a little bit too, but it should give us a little bit more room. So I'll have to adjust that a little bit, but like just smooth it out mostly. Yeah, there we go. Sometimes it adjusts the terrain when it uh, needs to flatten the area. Okay, so that will be good. And then what we can do is we can set up a helicopter depot. I'm not sure what the helicopter depot is for. Oh, that's right. That was not even part of the airport thing. Um, this is the airport. We're going to need... I think we'll go with a... We have 7, 000, or 7 million to basically blow on an airport so we can go with maybe a fancy airport system uh, what do we have here ultra modern
guys, so I've, I've tried to wait a little bit longer for a plane to come in, but they do use the runways, they use both of them actually, so if this one's being occupied, then they use the other one, which is perfect, it should help with uh, the flow a little bit. Um, I did add a bunch of parking for people, so they have been using it, which is great. It's not too far away from the actual uh, thing. There's a pathway that goes through here directly onto the thing, so it's direct access to parking. And there's crosswalk right in the middle, so they can get to either parking lot, which is really good. And there's also the um, metro rail, which um, should be r arriving a little just now. I'm not sure how many people are waiting for it. Not that many at the moment, but when there's planes coming in, I'm sure there will be uh, more people coming in for it. But um, And then we also have like a bus line thing that we can set up on this side um, to allow us to get to this area. I think we'll eventually develop this area in this general facility. That way we can... Um, get a little bit more um, reason for a bus loop and then we'll basically just kind of run it through here. I think that would be probably um, the best idea for it because we'll have all this space over here to develop. I'm not sure what we'll put over there but uh, there's also that tourism industry in this area so we might want to get a bus line over to here as well. Just a direct line to there would probably be good but that can wait until next episode. Uh, I did put in a bunch of um, small aircraft stands. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six of them. And there's a taxiway that goes around. So if they get off, then they can go this way and then go around and stuff like that. I'm not sure why they would need to go this way, but <laughs> they can if they want to. Um, but yeah, outside of that, I'm pretty happy with the design of the airport. It was way better than my first um, experimental one. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.